In this video, we are going to study multicollinearity in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice included within it. Ok, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So first we need to add a new cell below. To do so, we go ahead and click on the Insert Cell Below button. And the first step within the video is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we're going to comment this as Step 1, Packages. And for this video, we're going to import NumPy as MP. We're using NumPy for the calculation of the invert correlation matrix. Then we're going to import pandas as pd. We're using pandas for data frames. Then we're going to import seaborn as sns. We'll be using seaborn for the invert correlation matrix chart. And last, we're going to import stats models dot api as sm. We're importing that feature from stats models for data downloading. To run this code lines or this cell, we go ahead and click run or shift enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to sm feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore r dataset. And we open parentheses. The first parameter, which is data name, equals to and within quotations, house prices, comma, package, equals to and within quotations, AER, comma, cash, equals to true. So what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER, and with cash equals to true means that we save the data locally so we don't need to go ahead and download it every time we run the code. Notice that this downloads both a data and documentation within this house prices object. Therefore, we continue to create a new object named house prices which only includes data. Therefore, this is equal to house prices underscore object and we get its data attribute. To visualize part of this data, we go ahead and print it with print and from the house prices object, the one that only includes the data, from that data frame we get its dot .illoc which is integer, location, integer location and we select with semicolons all the rows from columns 0 to 5. So with Python notation that's from the first to the fifth column and we want to print only the head of that data frame. So again, to run this code lines or this cell, we press shift enter on the keyboard and we see the corresponding data. So as mentioned previously, in this video, we're only going to focus on the first five columns of data of price, lot size, bedrooms, bathrooms, and stories. So here, as an example, we have a multiple linear regression in which the dependent or explained variable is price which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size, bedrooms, bathrooms, and stories. So then we continue with the following step, which is if you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with this code line, which is print and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute which is its documentation so in this case we just go directly and press shift enter on the keyboard to read the full documentation of this data so now that we have the data ready we can continue with step number three which is variables so multicollinearity is only tested on the independent or explanatory variables therefore we're going to create a new object which we're going to name IVAR for independent variables equals to and from house prices data frame 
we get with dot ILOC again integer location we get with semicolons all the rows from columns in this case one to five therefore we're going to select from the second to the fifth column from that corresponding data frame one to five because of Python notation and also we are going to print part of this data frame so we can visualize it also using print and from I bar in this case we're just going ahead and print its head open and close parenthesis so let's go ahead and run this code lines by pressing shift enter on the keyboard and as we can see again we see the head of data with the first five observations and in this case for IBAR which are the independent or explanatory variables we only have the four columns of lot size bedrooms bathrooms and stories and those are the ones we are going to test for multicollinearity. So now that we have independent variables ready, we can continue with step number four, which is multicollinearity. And for this, we need to calculate the invert correlation matrix. To do so, we're going to create an object name IVAR, which is independent variables, inverted correlation matrix icor which is equal to mp numpy dot lin alg dot imb and within parentheses we have ibar dot corr open and close parentheses so what we're doing here is first to those independent or explanatory variables the one we created above that object we calculate their correlation matrix and then with numpy uh, l i n a l g dot i m b we invert that correlation matrix and the following step is we are going to overwrite that invert correlation matrix as a data frame so i b a r i c o r equals to we'll be using pd which is pandas dot data frame and within parentheses we have the following parameters the first of this which is data equals to IBAR ICOR the inverted correlation matrix comma index which is the row names of that matrix equals to IVAR the independent variables object we get its columns names comma and the column names columns equals to that same independent variables object columns names and last, we want to visualize this corresponding invert correlation matrix. So we go ahead and print it. I B A R I C O R. Again, to run this code lines or this cell, we press Shift Enter on the keyboard. And there we have the invert correlation matrix. But we also want to visualize this invert correlation matrix with a corresponding chart. For this, we'll be using Seaborn, therefore we have S and S, and we'll be using dot its heat map function. We open parenthesis, and the data we'll be using equals to that invert correlation matrix, I B A R I C O R, comma, C map equals to and within quotations blues, comma, A N N O T equals to true so that the heat map includes the values from that invert correlation matrix. So again, we press shift enter on the keyboard so we can visualize the corresponding heat map, which is the invert correlation matrix. So just double checking first, we see that the values we find right here are the same as the ones we have right here. And specifically for testing multicollinearity, we are going to focus on the principal diagonal of that invert correlation matrix. That principal diagonal corresponds to the variance inflation factors for each of the independent or explanatory variables. Therefore, for example, this one, this is the variance inflation factor of lot size, as we can see. This one's the one related to bedrooms and so on. So to test multicollinearity, if the principal diagonal values are between 5 and 10, then the corresponding independent or explanatory variable might be highly correlated. And if the value from that principal diagonal is greater than 10, 
then the corresponding independent or explanatory variable is highly correlated. So now that we finish with the code file, we go ahead and save it. And with this, we finish this video. Thank you for watching.